Today we'll be taking a look at an overview and installation of GrowWatt's solar inverters. Let's start with our parts and components. You'll need your GrowWatt inverter, your big battery battery or batteries, one BB175 to ring terminal cable for each battery you wish to connect to your inverter, two BB350 to ring terminal cables if you wish to connect two or more batteries to the inverter, and lastly, your bus bar if you wish to connect two or more batteries to the inverter. Now onto the installation. In this example, we'll be using our 48 volt Condor Elite. However, the steps will remain the same for our other 48 volt models. Start by removing the red and black caps on your inverter to access the terminals. Please use a flathead screwdriver to do so. Remove the bolts and connect your BB175 cable. Red to positive and black to negative. Then tighten the ring terminals with the bolts. It is important to make sure the connections are tight and secure. Place the caps back on and tighten the caps. Now plug in the Anderson end into your battery. Make sure you push all the way in until you hear that second click. Now it's time to turn on your battery. Next, turn the inverter switch to the on position. It'll take five to 10 seconds to load completely. Next, we'll be showing you how to install two or more batteries to the inverter. You'll need your bus bar and two BB350 cables. To start, remove the caps from your inverter and connect your BB350 cables. Red is positive and black is negative. Next, connect your BB350 cables. This will connect your inverter to your bus bar. Now, you can remove the caps from your bus bar and connect the ring terminal end of your BB350 cables to your bus bar. Red is positive and black is negative. We recommend securing the bus bar to a solid surface that is not touching the inverter or batteries. For this example, we'll be skipping this step. Next, connect the ring terminal end of your BB175 cables to your bus bar. Remember to keep the ring terminals for the positive and negative end to their corresponding sides of the bus bar. Now you can place the caps back on the bus bar. And now you can connect your BB175 cables to your batteries and make sure all connections are secured. Then turn on your batteries. Now turn on the inverter. You'll need to configure your inverter settings for a 48 volt battery or batteries. We recommend reviewing your owner's manual before continuing on with these steps. Once the screen is on, you should see your battery's voltage, your output voltage, and you'll see icons representing your battery, inverter, and appliances. To begin setting your parameters, hold down the enter button for five seconds. Then use the up and down arrows to scroll through different channel settings. On channel two, set the amps to 80. On channel three, set to appliances or APL. Channel five is for the type of battery being used. Press the enter button to enter the channel menu and use the up and down arrows to toggle the settings within that menu. Select US2 and then select Enter. Then scroll to channel 9 and press Enter. Change this setting to 60 Hz and press Enter again. Now scroll to channel 19 and change the charging voltage to 58 volts. Scroll to channel 20 and do the same. Then scroll to channel 21 and set the minimum voltage to 48 volts. We can now exit the parameter menu. Lastly, let's review the connection of your appliances. On the bottom of the inverter, we have our AC input for grid connections, and next to that we have our AC output and our PV input. Above that, we have our AC input and output switches, where we're able to turn on and off our AC power. And lastly, we have our connections for Wi-Fi or GPRS monitoring. 